This is Sam Dicker. Hey, you know, this stuff like space event, like space wars and um, asteroids is like, you know, I was doing pinball. But, you know, pinball's pretty cool. Galaxian. Galaxian, yeah. And, and the missile command is right around there. Somewhere in that, yeah, yeah. I mean, just, yeah. all these great games, and like, you know, I'm stuck doing pinball, you know, and, uh, <laughs> which now is, I think, even better than video, so I guess I was ahead of my time. But anyway, the, uh, <laughs> Um, so, that, so I was like, hey, we gotta, can we uh, get a little uh, feedback here? Um, so it was like, man, this is really cool stuff, you know, and, and uh, this video thing, you know, it looked like, you know, maybe, some, maybe, you know, we gotta get into this, you know, and, and, and when you're doing pinball, it's like, you always have like this pinball designer. And I worked a lot with Steve Ritchie, and it was like, you know what, it was just like, I'm tired of somebody being my boss, you know? So I wanted to be the, you know, kind of like Larry's, like, fuck yeah, everything. You know, the pin, the pin <laughs> the designers, they were the, they were gods. Yeah, they were yeah. just like their, their servants. Well, they had a word, it was called the sub-coders. That <laughs> <laughs> was kind of, the, that was kind of the, 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 the pinball coder. So, um, you know, after a while, you, you know, you want to move up from a sub-coder to, <laughs> to, to a better level. So, yeah, and then Williams had such a, the whole, it was such a pinball company, the whole culture. I mean, it was, we were just these, the, the video game was just this crazy, this crazy thing that was so off the radar for them. Yeah, so we, we just had this crazy idea, let's do a video game, and so they, they took, they put us in a warehouse, and uh, uh, let's see what else, oh, wrong one. Um, whoops, fuck, okay. <laughs> 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 um, anyway, anyway, I needed another guy on the team. So we were like in this warehouse, and like, okay, um, and you know, you know, Google, they have like these interviews, you know, like how do you get good people? You know, it's like, it's, this, is, this is really tough. I mean, and you, you get these programs, they're all liars. You know, every programmer is a liar. I mean, you know, and how do you know if somebody can, can, you know, is a good programmer or not? You know, and, and so Google, I know they have like, how many Google people do we have here? I mean, they have, they have some great questions, right? They, they, they run you through all this stuff, and they find out if, if your brain is functioning or not. And back in like 1980, I mean, we had a more basic approach. So the, the, our interview question was, that was the thing. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and Sam, I guess, now you were like, what, in high school? What was it, Sam? No, no, no. Yeah, I, 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 I was in college for 20 years. And okay. Out. And, then, um, and then I, I was actually doing uh, pinball sounds okay. at the time. At the time when we were starting, <laughs> like a competitor, or uh... no, 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 pinball sounds for for the for Williams. Games. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. So you already got hired, or something? I already got hired. I I, I knew Larry. Okay, That's okay. So I got hired. Okay. So anyway, anyway, he shows up and was like, "Can you code?" He said yes, so he was on the team. <laughs> now, I mean, at that time, there really weren't that many programmers. I mean, it really. I mean, it was kind of, and especially, I mean, you're talking this assembly language machine code stuff. I mean, you know, a lot, I mean, we didn't make the computer like Larry did, but, uh, you know, it was, it was, it was pretty, pretty primitive. So, you know, we, so we were getting inspired by, like, you know, all this cool stuff was going on. The space invaders, you know, this asteroids, this, like, Atari company, you know, came out with this asteroids, and uh, that's kind of cool. And uh, so it was like, we'll make a cool game, uh, you know, let's, you know, we're, we're kind of in the in the inspiration phase of a project, where you're, you know, you, any of you guys ever hear of the six phases of a project, where like it's, it's inspiration, confusion, <laughs> disillusionment, <laughs> the search for the guilty, <laughs> right, the prosecution of the innocent. <laughs> And then there's distinction for the uninvolved. Yeah. <laughs> that was, uh, okay, this is, uh, this is our, our office. Oh, yeah. uh, this is like today. It was, I, think, I think they, uh, they like, it looks much fancier. Yeah, they paved the road, I think. Um, kind of down the hood, and, and uh, actually our office had, we were in the middle of the spectrum, there were no windows. So, and it, and it, and I, and it was like, it's like, yeah, is that depressing? Yeah, it's kind of depressing, but it's like, if you want to view, make something happen on your screen. Yeah. You know? I mean, it's like, you know what I mean? It was dark. It was like, like yeah. 70s dark paneling. You know, the, yeah, yeah. 
that it was a really gloomy place. That dark wood, you know, like that, kind of like a, the rumpus room. Kind of, yeah. <laughs> um, and uh, so there, there we were. I think, I think only a couple of guys' cars were stolen during the project. <laughs> <laughs> Um, okay, so the first problem is like, okay. <laughs> we, we didn't know about, as much about hardware as Larry did, you know, and uh, so I was like, what, you know, we're going to make a game, and it's funny, I worked at Atari, but I did pinball, so I, I, had, I had no idea what the sprite stuff was, so, you know, it was, it was a dilemma, so, um, so basically, it was just like get a computer and a bitmap and do it in software. You know, and that's I mean, kind of like the Apple computer really is, is that. You know? yeah. when, uh, actually, the Macintosh surprisingly is just a computer and, and, and a memory map, and uh, and you just make it happen. Um, so this is just kind of the technicalities of the hardware. Um, so at that time, the Motorola 6809 was like this shit. Oh yeah, and and it was like it had almost had I think it had a couple of 16-bit operations, mostly 8-bit. Um, it could actually multiply, which was really amazing. Um, although I don't we, I don't know if we ever used it, did we? No. <laughs> <laughs> it turns out you know it's funny. It's too many cycles, yeah. When you're doing like uh, discrete simulation, frame by frame by frame, actually it's mostly like addition and subtraction. You don't you don't end up doing a lot of multiplication and. Um, the, uh, so then we had 12, bits of, 12 kilobytes of ROM and 40 kilobytes of DRAM, all these good things. And we thought that DRAM was huge. Yeah, I mean, this was, <laughs> that was amazing. I mean, that was, yeah. that was, that yeah. was pretty cool. Like, and like, I remember we were thinking about the colors, you know, and it was like, because um, there was a lot of black and white games at the time, you know, obviously Space Wars, uh, Space Invaders, and uh, it was kind of like, you know, color man, uh, do we really need that? I mean, it's kind of futuristic, you know. It's like, uh, and and it was like, yeah, you know, let's let's do the future, man. Let's be color. And and it was like, well, how many colors? You know, I'm like, well, you know, like Apple had like four. Although they had they had some ways to make it other ones. And and we were like, oh shit, man, we'll have we'll make it 16 colors, man. It's like no one would ever be able to use all these colors. Yeah. I mean. <laughs> This would be good for you know probably ten or fifteen years. <laughs> and, uh, so that, that was pretty cool. And, uh, and so our yeah our graphics GPU was you know write some code. But, uh, uh, there there's the board. Um, okay, and then, and then the sound system which I you know Sam had worked on. Um, the uh, yeah, we just like okay throw in the pimple. Sixty eight oh one. Yeah. Um, ran it like. Yeah, actually, 800, 800 megahertz. Uh, you know, you're right. 800, 800, 800, yeah, kilohertz. Yeah. Actually, I was pushing. Yeah. I lied. I lied. Yeah. Yeah. It wasn't one. It wasn't quite. Didn't yeah. quite make a megahertz. Yeah. Yeah. But it was. It was uh, three point zero two. That's it. Yeah. 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 That's right. Yeah. It had a huge 128 bytes of RAM. Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty pretty awesome, man. That was like, uh, how were we ever going to use that? Although, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We only played one sound at a time. Though. Exactly, and that was that was that was the key. Yeah, that was the key. but you wanted to play the right sound. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, then our development system. Um, we did this. This is cool, man. There was like, remember the movie The Exorcist? Is anybody? Yeah. And they like, and that girl like turns her head around and like spits out green vomit. You know, it was, that's kind of the the, the uh, inspiration of their logo. <laughs> 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 and, uh, so we had we had dual floppy disk. Um, this is, you know, this was, this was state of the art. This was, this I was, think it was as temperamental as her also. Yeah, so, unfortunately, <laughs> that, it, it was, it, the, the marketing was a lot better than the product. Yeah. Uh, it was really a pile. I mean, uh, I really liked it. It, it. it actually took us, what, about a half an hour to make the program, or maybe it was an hour, I don't know yeah, what it was. Yeah, and then the, it, yeah. And like, I think about half the time it would just crash. Yeah. Like, oh. Mm -hmm. They start all over again. Get all your floppy disks, and then you never knew. Like your floppy disk was ruined, or yeah. you know, just like you never knew what was wrong. It was, with it was a mystery. Was, <laughs> so like half the time you didn't know what the bug was, but ninety-eight percent it was your program, yeah. unfortunately. Yeah. <laughs> it was, it was, uh, okay. So here was here was the software. Um, <laughs> so, 
the, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it was really, uh, let's bring back assembly language. I mean, what, what is all this bullshit, Java, Python, you know, Ruby on Rails, what is all this shit? <laughs> let's, let's get back to, I mean, come on. Where's, so anyway, you see how to just write your code. You had to write your code. I mean, but you're only running it one megahertz, you know? And, and so, thank God we didn't have like, uh, you know, three gigahertz um, Windows system because it probably wouldn't have made frame rate, you know? <laughs> so, um, uh, so, okay, so then the, so the, the, the first challenge was, okay, since we didn't have any hardware other than just a bit, that was like, let's create some kind of uh, system. So, um, a uh, guy, Larry DeMar, had worked with me, was working on uh, Black Knight at the time. Yeah. And he was an MIT guy. He's kind of turned us on to some of these like dynamic allocation linked list stuff. And uh, uh, so it sounded cool. And uh, so then we, we had a process list. It was a multitasking operating system, up to 120 processes. Um, and uh, this, was, this was the pinball operating system he was working on, right? Uh, we kind of did our own. No, no, that, that one was just... Because I remember that's what, that's what he was working on at the time. Right, he was doing the Black Knight. Yeah. But this was kind of our own little... Okay, okay, thing. yeah. But uh, um, actually we stole some of this from... I don't know if any of you guys know Steve Calfey from Atari. Um, we stole some of his code, too. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, it wasn't written in for it? <laughs> <laughs> um, the, okay, so anyway... It was pretty cool. Um, and here was, here was the actual object structure. We got some code. I guess anybody actually wants to see the Defender code. Yeah. Do you, do you have it, Sam? Um, so, uh, yeah, anybody wants a copy? <laughs> This is uh, Vader. This is our, our Photoshop. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wow. Wow, that's pretty cool. Um, so, yeah, so you got, you know, come on up and, and copy it, you know. Get <laughs> <laughs> your smartphone, you know, just, just copy away here. So. Um, there were no comments, it was all self documenting comments. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, th this is the, the object structure. So, it was kind of uh, as a linked list. And then you had the X and Y, and we got really, really fancy. We used actually a 16-bit X and Y coordinate, which 8 bits of an integer and 8 bits of fraction. So it was like, actually, that's how we got kind of the cool fractional velocities and stuff. So um, we had actually up to 100 of these suckers. Um, this process list was pretty cool. This was, uh, it had its own local storage. Um, the P 